Welcome back to Distributed Tracing in Next.js. This is lesson one, where we're going to explore distributed tracing as a concept and highlight the types of applications that could benefit the most from distributed tracing. So what is distributed tracing? Distributed tracing is the process of tracking the flow and timing of the requests as they pass through a system, which helps us understand the performance of that system and identify bottlenecks. To put it simply, it links the operations and requests occurring between multiple services. And what are its benefits? Having a clear view of the entire operation flow of a specific action, from the front-end or mobile to the database. Identify performance bottlenecks throughout your whole application stack. Improve the quality and reliability of your service. So who needs distributed tracing? If your application is built on microservices or serverless architecture, then distributed tracing is essential. Aside from their advantages, these architectures also bring new challenges, like reduced visibility. Distributed tracing as a tool is the perfect remedy for that. But even if your app is not built on microservices or serverless architecture, the benefits of distributed tracing still matter to you. Every developer wants to identify performance bottlenecks regardless of their app's architecture. This was just an overview of what distributed tracing is. In the next video, we'll see how distributed tracing works under the hood. And that's it for this lesson. Don't forget to check out all the resources down in the description below. Like and subscribe, and go check out the next video in the series. Thanks for watching.